हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स एन अमेजिंग वीडियो फॉर ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हु लव नंबर्स एंड हु वांट टू डेवलप दैट एप्टीट्यूड इन मैथमेटिक्स यू नो व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एक्सेल इन दिस अमेजिंग सब्जेक्ट दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ नंबर सीक्वेंसेस सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप फोर डिफरेंट सीक्वेंसेस इन दिस वीडियो एंड यू विल सी those amazing properties of those number sequences you know which makes them special and you might not have seen some of those properties uh, you know in whatever time you have studied mathematics so watch the entire video you are going to learn something very useful very very amazing must watch for all the school students right from class 4 5 6 onwards and for competitive exams these number sequences are very very important so before i take up that amazing video of number sequences and its properties let me tell you about this amazing short trick ebook this is specially for all sorts of examinations you can see here bank po sbi po ibps rbi you know rrb ntpc then you have the chsl lic you know all sorts of school exams olympiads aryabhat ganit challenge This quantitative aptitude ebook is specially for all of you. It contains 24 different chapters which covers nearly everything in quantitative aptitude and it has over 300 short tricks. Yes, tricks through which you can skip steps and get to the answer directly. Must for cracking the multiple choice questions in minimum amount of time. And then 10x faster calculations and what more? It comes with the reasoning course combo and the reasoning has 18 different topics covered with videos we have some special videos for the reasoning also so go for this amazing amazing combo which will help you in cracking all the competitive exams whatsapp 9896369963 you can find this number in the description of this video here also so let's see what do we have first up in this video these are the amazing triangular numbers very very important concept and which will form the base and set the tone for the remaining part of this video so as you can see the figure here we have a dot here so single dot means one and now under this dot if i put two more dots like this it will form the shape of a triangle and how many dots have we used up we have used up three dots likewise keep on extending it by one more row so three dots more under this gives us six in total this is another triangle and now the triangle is going to grow in size so this is the fourth row introduced and that gives 10 dots likewise 15 dots so all these numbers which i have written here these are called triangular numbers 1 3 6 10 15 and you can very easily guess what will come as the next triangular number so we have five dots in this row the last row so the next row will contain six dots so 15 plus 6 will give us 21 dots that is 21 will be the next triangular number likewise seven more dots will make it 28 and this sequence is going to continue on and on so these are called triangular numbers now how do we interpret these triangular numbers and what are the special properties which actually make them special the first thing is the consecutive difference let's see the difference between 3 and 1 here it is 2 6 and 3 the difference is 3 10 and 6 the difference is 4 15 and 10 the difference is 5 21 and 15 it is 6 and 28 and 21 it is 7 likewise the difference continues so i can already see that these are 2 3 4 5 6 7 the consecutive natural numbers starting from 2 but if i take the difference once more this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 so if i take the double difference all the double differences are going to be constant that is 1 these are all double differences and that's a very unique property of triangular numbers isn't it amazing friends we have one more special property of triangular numbers which actually makes it so so special 
and I'll tell you, see, this is the first number, 1 here. Now, if I add 1 and 3, 1 plus 3, it gives me 4. Likewise, I can add 3 and 6, it gives me 9. How about adding 6 and 10? It gives me 16. I'll tell you what, what is so special about these numbers. Let's keep on adding 10 and 15. It gives me 25. How about the next one? 15 and 21. It gets me 36. And 21 plus 28. It gets me 49. And you can continue this sequence. Now, can you observe something special about 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49? Yes, you guessed it right. They are the square numbers. See how the triangular numbers get associated with square numbers. 4 is actually 2 square. This is 3 square. This is 4 square. This is 5 square. This is 6 square. And this is 7 square. Aren't the numbers amazing friends? Look at the triangular numbers and their properties. I actually approach the square numbers from the triangular numbers and that forms the base of the next sequence of numbers which is the square numbers themselves. Look at this now. The figure here shows one dot. So this is one, then four dots, uh, two in each row. So this is four. Likewise, nine dots, then 16 dots, then 25 dots, then 36 dots, 49 dots and so on. These are all square numbers. Now let us check the double difference again. We saw the double difference in triangular numbers. It was 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? Now let's see what happens when we do the same thing for square numbers. The difference here is 3, difference 5, difference 7, difference 9, difference 11, difference 13 and so on. Now take another time, the difference 2, difference 2, again 2, again 2 and again 2 and see the difference. The double difference now is 2 in each case and therefore the square numbers have this very very unique property. And what more? They are again related to some other special kind of numbers. Let's do this now. For the square numbers, I am going to write 1 as 1 itself, the number 4 which is 2 square as 1 plus 3, the sum of first two odd numbers, the next one 9 which is 3 square as first three odd numbers 1 plus 3 plus 5, is it 9? And yes, this pattern can go on and on. Take 16, 16 is 4 square, take the first four odd numbers 1, 3, 5 and 7, try to add them, you will get 16. Take 25 which is 5 square, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, all of them will add up to 25. Take 36 which is 6 square, now keep on writing the odd numbers, keep on adding them and write the first 6 odd numbers, you will find that it is 36 and this pattern also continues on and on. The triangular numbers, the square numbers, they have such unique properties and all these numbers are really really important, you know. Okay, let's see one more type of numbers. Can we think about hexagonal numbers? You can see some hexagons drawn here and they are growing in size. One dot is obviously one. How many dots are here? See, the, we have two dots here, two dots here, two dots here, two here, two here and two here. So this forms a hexagon and six dots on the boundary and one in the middle. That makes it seven. Likewise, three, 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 three. So these are the dots on the boundary. Then six dots in the second layer and one dot in the middle layer. So one layer is increasing in every new hexagon. So there are 19 dots in this one. And then look at this, four along a row, four along a row, four, four, four and four. Now you will count 
in the second layer, in the third layer, in the fourth layer, we will have a total of 37 dots. And these numbers, 1, 7, 19, 37, after this it will be 61 and after that that will be 91 and so on. These are called hexagonal numbers. Now what is so, so special about the hexagonal numbers? Do they have something common like the triangular numbers and the square numbers? The double difference? Let's check out. Here the difference is 6. The difference here is 12. Difference here is 18. Difference here is 24. Difference here is 30 and so on. Let's take the difference again. This is 6. This is 6. And look at the amazing property. The double difference is again constant and everywhere the difference is coming out to be 6. And that will happen in all these pattern numbers. Number sequences have a constant double difference. So the hexagonal numbers also have that difference that is 6. Now how do you obtain these hexagonal numbers? We can't keep on drawing the dots, right? That is so difficult. Now to find which one is like the 10th hexagonal number or the 50th hexagonal number or for that matter 147th hexagonal number you can't even dream about drawing that particular figure right so we need to have a general expression the general expression for finding the number of dots in a particular hexagonal number is so I'll write general expression 3n n minus 1 plus 1. Now this expression can be used to find the, the uh, number of dots or the number which comes as a hexagonal number in this series. Now suppose we are talking about this 61. How do I get 61? This is the fifth hexagonal number, right? Fifth. So if I put n equal to 5 here, just see what happens. 3 times 5, 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 1 and you will get 5 times 4 20, 20 times 3 is 60, 60 plus 1 61 and we have the fifth hexagonal number. Now suppose someone asks me what is the tenth hexagonal number? So I can put n equal to 10 here 3 times 10 times 9 plus 1 which gives me 9 threes are 27, 270 plus 1 271 will be the 10th hexagonal number. Now I think you can find any hexagonal number, right? Even the 100th hexagonal number will not be difficult for uh, you to find. Knowing the concept and applying it to have that clarity in mind is very, very important. And understanding these numbers, you know, it makes mathematics so joyful, so, uh, you know, uh, surprising also. And you can surprise your friends by demonstrating all these things. Okay, let me show you one more thing for this video. Here we have something called Virahanka or the Fibonacci numbers. Very, very amazing numbers, you know, observed in nature also. Uh, you will definitely find the example of sunflower. Uh, if when it comes to the Fibonacci numbers. I am going to tell you what are these numbers. So we have 0 and 1 as the default first two Fibonacci numbers. Now 0 plus 1 gives us 1 which is the third Fibonacci number. Then 1 plus 1 gives us 2 that is the fourth Fibonacci number. Then keep on adding in pairs. 1 plus 2 gives 3 the next one. 2 plus 3 gives 5 the next one. 3 plus 5 gives 8 the next one and then 5 plus 8 gives 13 the next one and I think you can find any number of Fibonacci numbers in this pattern. Now in this pattern of numbers there is something special here right. Now I don't want you to take the double difference obviously yes if you find the double difference you will again find some useful patterns which I want you to explore but I would like to relate it to the Pascal's triangle. Can you see the triangle of numbers written here? And I hope all of you know what is a Pascal's triangle. You start with 1, start and end with 1. In every row you will have one extra number. How? Start with 1, 1 plus 1, write 2 in the middle and end with 1. Start with 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 3 and end with 1. 
Carry on writing like this, you can write any number of rows like 1, 1 plus 3, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4 and ends with 1. 1, 1 plus 4, 5, 4 plus 6, 10, 6 plus 4, 10, 4 plus 1, 5 and ending with 1 and you can keep on writing these rows in Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle is another so very important thing you know when it comes to the binomial coefficients powers of 11 and expansions of algebraic identities like a plus b whole cube, a plus b power 5, a plus b power 8. Pascal's triangle is so, so useful. But is this Pascal's triangle related to the Fibonacci or the Viramka numbers? Yes, it is. Watch. I have put some diagonal lines here. Let us see the sum of all the numbers which are falling along these diagonals. The first one has only 1, the second one has 1 again, so you can see there are two 1's here, so the second line has only 1, the third line has 1 plus 1, 2, the fourth line has 2 plus 1 which is 3, the next line has 1 plus 3, 4 plus 1, 5 and now you keep on counting and you will see what are we obtaining? 3 plus 4, 7 plus 1, 8. 1 plus 6, 7 plus 5, 12 plus 1, 13. And let's add two more. 4 plus 10, 14, uh, 20, 21. And then 1 plus uh, 10 is 11. 11 plus 15, 26. Plus 7, 33. Plus 1, 34. And look at these sequence of numbers you are obtaining here. Is it same as this one? 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. And it continues on and on. So the Fibonacci numbers or the Virahanka numbers can be obtained from the Pascal's triangle as well. And therefore these two concepts are so very closely related to one another. Friends, I keep on telling you mathematics is amazing and all these things all these good short tricks and uh, step skipping methods you know they are mentioned in our complete ebook of short tricks which is a must read for all the school students and for all those preparing for competitive exams also i told you it comes with a reasoning course combo you can send me a message on whatsapp 9896369963 is the number and I'm sure that is going to benefit you a great deal in understanding mathematics in depth. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video in which I told you how to understand these uh, triangular numbers, the square numbers, the hexagonal numbers, the Virahanka or the Fibonacci numbers. And uh, do take a while to share this video with all the mathematics enthusiasts so that they can also enjoy this video. And do let me know in the comments, did you like this video? Thanks for watching this video. Do share and subscribe and do not forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of such useful and joyful uploads on the channel. Thanks for watching.